in deck building, basically you can have whatever you want as long as you have 25 playing cards and 10 resource cards. That's the smallest deck that I think is wise. I had to make a minimum because you're going to have that one guy who's going to have one tactics card for the game that just does something extremely crazy. I don't think I'll ever make that tactics card. You'll never be able to play it in a tournament, but if I did go nuts and make that one card that would be a game winner, you're going to have that guy that's going to do it. Uh, it'll be an ultra rare card, of course, so he'll just draw that card and play it. Eh. Anyway, don't worry about it. I won't do anything that nuts. So, 25 of your playing cards. Now that means you can have generals, soldiers, kingdom, strategy, tactics. You can have all generals. I don't know why you'd do that unless it was like Spartacus, but then again, Spartacus, you couldn't have 25 of him. Anyway, you could have, you don't have to put any tactics cards in there at all. You don't have to put any strategy cards in there. You just basically want to do whatever you want with your 25 cards. Uh, and then 10 resources. Basically, you want your 10 resources to be whatever you're using. If it all costs water, if you're the Huns and you've just got a bunch of crazy soldier cards in there, which I've played that against that. Uh, my buddy David Pesta built a deck similar to that and it was pretty crazy to try to beat him because I had Egypt and it was a slow moving deck and so I was building and building and building and I think he slaughtered me. <laughs> but basically you can do with your deck whatever you want as long as you meet those minimum requirements and as long as in deck building you keep the common, uncommon, rare and ultra rare requirements.